Hi there and welcome to this unboxing of this HTC Desire C. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and yes it's been a while since this uh, unit has been released but I did not review it at that time because in India when this uh, product was launched it was priced close to around 15,000 and I think that was a bit excessive but now the price of this HTC Desire C has come down considerably and you can get it for around 12,500 or close to around 12,000 and I feel that's a good price for this phone and this HTC Desire C comes with an ice cream sandwich and it says here that it comes with the 25 GB of free storage courtesy of Dropbox and also uh, here we have a sticker of ask for your 8 GB of memory card uh, that's absolutely free so if you're buying it in India you're getting 8 GB of memory card free and this packaging is specifically for India and if you look at the back uh, it says that uh, it has Beats audio and I believe the screen size is 3.5 inches uh, the CPU is not that great it's just 600 megahertz but it has a GPU and here it says the internal storage is 4 GB it has a micro SD card slot uh, so let us quickly open up the box and here the MRP uh, is quoted as 15,499 but as I told you you can get it for around 12,500 to close to around 12,000 and also uh, let me show you the SAR rating the SAR rating is 0.679 uh, W per kg and uh, let me just open up this quickly let me just quickly break the seal and I want to thank Faisal Communications for providing this unit for testing. So I have opened the box and this opens. I think so this one comes out. Yes. So this one comes out and I'm going to keep this box to the side. And this uh, packaging is very similar to Sony phones that we have seen in the Xperia lineup. And this is the HTC Desire C phone itself. Let me keep it to the side. Let's see what else do we get in the box. Nothing here. Uh, this is just the data cable. And I think so the charges etc would be here. Yes. We do get a charger. Uh, we get a HTC Desire C pamphlet. IMI numbers. And on this end we get the uh, earphones. So pretty big box for a small phone I would say so let me keep all these things to the side and let us look at the phone itself let me just zoom in a little bit and uh, this is the phone itself uh, it has a 3.5 inch screen uh, I did not find the battery so I think so the battery is preloaded so let me just quickly try to power it on and see if it powers on I don't think so it has a charge so that's weird and we have an indent over here and we can open it up and as you can see the battery was uh, pre-installed so that's interesting and we have a slot for micro sd card and let me take out the battery and we can insert our sim card over here uh, let me add a sim so the back is very exciting, totally red in color, a little bit strange. And we can add a micro SD card also. Uh, and as, as I said, it's over here. So I'm going to insert uh, this 2GB micro SD card that I have. And we're going to insert our SIM card also. And the SIM card goes in here like this. Let's put this battery and uh, the rear uh, facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter but we do not get a led flash so that's uh, kind of bummer the back is uh, uh, texturized uh, rubberish it's plastic but uh, rubberish feels so it feels good and it says beats audio and we have a small grill for the speakerphone and let's see if we can power this on now yeah it does have some power so let's see and let me take this out and the general specs as I said earlier are 600 megahertz processor and it has a dedicated GPU 
let me give you a physical overview till it boots up we have a 3.5 mm headphone jack power on off button and we have an indent over here so that you can use it to open up the phone and on this side we have the volume rocker pretty convenient and long and nothing else on the bottom we have just a small hole for the microphone and on this side we have the micro usb slot that will be used for charging nothing on this side and on the back we have the 5 megapixel camera and so the phone has booted and it's booted into ics uh, and uh, as this is a htc phone we get uh, what do you say the htc sense ui that uh, htc likes to use strangely it's still booting so this is the first boot of this phone so it might take a while for it to boot and uh, moving towards the front we have a nice earpiece grill i am not very sure what kind of sensors it has does it have ambient light sensor uh, we'll know that in the full review and on the bottom we have these three touch type capacitor buttons that's for the back uh, menu and the multitasking tray so it says select the language i hit english i'm just going to use wi-fi so i just hit that and it's scanning for the wi-fi i'll just enter my wi-fi password and it did connect to my wi-fi pretty quickly so i'll hit next and it says that uh, we have a htc account sign in or create i'm going to skip all this and uh, Google location is okay next use my location fine and here it says that we can get this 25 GB of Dropbox storage for free and you have the option of using your existing Dropbox account or you can just create it uh, I'm just gonna hit next and try to skip this yes uh, it's done I'll just uh, add my Google account also and now it's signing into my Google account and that should uh, complete the setup and it says transfer the stuff i'm not going to do that i'm just going to hit finish so quite a exhaustive uh, first boot process it sets up your account that's nice so and uh, it gives us this menu quick tips I'm going to disable it and this is the interface that we get the stock uh, interface it's connected to Wi-Fi do we get this pinch gesture no we don't get that let me one two three four five so we get five home screens uh, and let's look at the Android version and it says nine updates I'm going to hit the settings and this is let's go to about and let's hit the software information button and as you can see it's running on the android version 4.0.3 that's ice cream sandwich and the htc sense version is 4 uh, let me look at the storage also how is the storage i just added a 2 gb uh, sd card but uh, here it says that internal storage is uh, almost 1 gb so that's very nice it's nice to see that HTC has started giving a decent internal storage because earlier in the budget uh, Android phones, the internal storage was very low. So about 1 GB of internal storage and that's pretty good, I see. And we also have this phone storage that's uh, and that is just 95 MB. And this is my SD card that is uh, 2 GB. And uh, let's go to display and see does this uh, one have a uh, auto brightness option yeah it does have auto brightness option so that's nice and as you can see we can lower the brightness this is the lowest brightness and this is the max i'll just keep it to low and uh, as this is the app tray Let's try to fire up the web browser and uh, see. And it's loading google.co.n by default. And let me go to tech to bus. Keyboard is okay, but it'll take a little while to get used to it. And let's see, I've just clicked it. 
Okay. Looks fast. It's rendering. And the screen resolution is uh, 320 by 480. And it did load the site. But again, uh, as the screen is pretty small, I would say it's just okay experience. Nothing uh, very great. Let's try and open up the story. And it's actually loading the web pages pretty fast in my opinion. And let's uh, change the orientation from portrait to landscape. And it does do it, but it does take a while. And as you can see, and if I go here, we have the YouTube player and we also have Polaris office. That's nice. So you can view office documents and what else does it give? It has Wi-Fi hotspot built in and uh, obviously the Play Store is there. So not many uh, bundled pre-apps. Adobe Reader is also there and of course Dropbox. And the camera that uh, HTC decided to put in this one is a 5 megapixel. Uh, but uh, sadly the flash is missing so let's have a quick look at this uh, camera also and uh, we do get a digital zoom if we want let me hit on this and it takes the snap actually pretty quickly let's see how is the outcome and this is the picture that it took it doesn't look that great actually but again, uh, we'll know about that more in the full review. So that's it for now for this quick unboxing and first boot of this HTC Desire C. I'll be doing a full review of this phone. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section given below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech 2 and I hope to see you in my next video.